you can order the brake discs and brake pads used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Turn off your vehicle's ignition. Set the parking brake. Pull the hood release handle and open the hood. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. In order to change the brake discs and pads on your vehicle, you will need to take off the wheels to have full access. Lift the front of your vehicle. Place the vehicle on the jack stands. We strongly suggest watching our video on how to jack your Toyota Camry safely before carrying out this step. Don't forget to put the wheels under the vehicle. Turn the disc outwards. This will facilitate the following steps. Insert a flathead screwdriver into the opening of the brake caliper. Lift it off using the screwdriver as a lever by pulling it towards you. This will cause the piston to retract so that the caliper can be removed more easily for the next steps. With a 14mm wrench, unscrew the upper slide pin. Sometimes you have to keep the lock nut from turning by holding it with your fingers or a 17mm wrench. Repeat this process with the lower slide pin. Finish unscrewing the cap by hand. Tip. Attach a piece of electrical cable or a hook to one of the strut spring coils. You can now remove the brake caliper and hook it to the previously installed hook. Remove the clips holding the pads. Remove the brake pads. You can use a screwdriver to help you. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the anti-rattle clips. Using a socket wrench and a 17mm socket, unscrew the two holding screws on the caliper mount. Depending on the state of the nuts on the caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Remove the caliper mount. Sometimes the disc may get stuck on the hub. If this happens, use a hammer to remove it. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the wheel hub with a wire brush. Hey, it's Alex from carparts.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to support us, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, back to work. You can order the discs and pads kit used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Before installing the new disc, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is coated, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Put the new brake disc in place. Using a wire brush, clean the caliper mount to remove any excess rust that could prevent the pads from sliding. Reassemble the caliper mount by screwing first by hand. then with a socket wrench and a 17mm socket to lock them in place. 
Finish tightening using a torque wrench. You need to check the sliding of the brake caliper slide pins and the condition of the caliper slide pin boots. If they look worn, you are advised to replace them with new ones. You can purchase the parts we used here by visiting our website at carparts.com. Get hold of the anti-rattle clips supplied in the kit. Place the new anti-rattle clips on the caliper mount. Grab the new pressure springs and install them in the lower part of the brake pads. Lightly coat the ends of the brake pads with copper grease to help them slide more easily. Insert the new brake pad into the caliper mount by sliding it in. Then, press on the pressure spring to put it firmly in place. Install the new upper pad retaining clip. Grab the brake caliper. Install the lower pad retaining clip. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw in the slide pins by hand at first. Screw them in using a 14mm wrench. You can use a 17mm wrench to prevent the bolts from rotating. Finish tightening using a torque wrench. Don't forget to remove the cable that you use to hold the caliper. Clean both sides of the disc with brake cleaner and a cloth to remove the grease from the new pads. You can now repeat the same process on the other side. Then, you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put the car back on the ground and block the wheels properly. Don't forget to screw the brake fluid cap back on before starting the car. Attention! Before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to push the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 30 miles or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation complete.